All right, Jen. So, I received a great question the other day. It goes like this. My biggest challenge right now is finding the proper style for my job. I'm the operations manager for a large millwork company. At work, I run the office and I've got 75 people under me. Generally, I stick to casual business attire. We're talking blazers, jeans, and occasionally a vest. Typically, brogue shoes and a good watch. Now, the problem I feel is I'm always the best dressed person in the company. In fact, the owners dress ultra casual. We're talking sweats and t-shirts. I'm worried that I stand out too much, that I'm outshining my boss. Should I tone it down? Sincerely, James. So, should you outdress your boss? Is it putting your job in jeopardy or is it something you should be allowed to express who you are through style and fashion? What's my opinion? Find out, gents, in today's video. Now, today's video, gents, is brought to you by Vitaman, and I'm a bit biased because it is my company, but I'm going to say that we make the best damn grooming products on the planet, bar none. Seriously, our stuff's made in Australia with real kangaroo. No, God, please, no. I'm kidding about that kangaroo part, but I'm serious about the quality of our ingredients. In fact, go to our website. You can see we list out all the ingredients, everything that goes in, natural, organic ingredients, and you've got to love a company that pays attention and make sure the things that you're putting on your body that go into your body are good for you. One example, our deodorant doesn't use any aluminum. Your deodorant, read the ingredient deck, it uses aluminum. Guys, you want to stay away from that stuff. You don't want your pores clogged with aluminum. Our volumizing shampoo, perfect for guys over the age of 30 with thinning hair, made specifically to clean the scalp and not to weigh your hair down with yeah, artificial ingredients that just simply make your hair look flat. Now, gents, I can talk all day about our amazing products, but how about I just give you some for free? In the description of today's video, I've got a special link that will take you over to Vitamin and get you a free sample kit at no cost. Gents, it's a limited time offer. I've only got so many kits, so grab them before they're gone. Again, that link is down below. Use it or lose it. So, to start things off, let's talk about the classic story of Nikolai Fouquet. Fouquet was an ambitious man in the 17th century who actually had achieved quite a bit. He was already the finance minister of France, but he was looking to impress his boss, Louis XIV. To do this, he threw a huge party at his house, bigger than any party anyone in France had ever seen, and he did this in the honor of Louis XIV, his special guest. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. The next day, he was arrested and then he spent the rest of his life in solitary confinement. Well, unfortunately, he broke Robert Greene's number one rule never outshine the master. You see, Louis was vain. Louis had a huge ego. Louis didn't like seeing somebody else outshine him, throw a bigger party than even he did. Now, is your boss a temperamental French monarch? Most likely not. But your boss is human and every human being has an ego that you need to be careful of not stepping on. So, is that my answer then? Don't outdress your boss? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is be careful about outshining your boss, especially if your boss has a fragile ego. If your boss is someone that isn't going to be able to handle having people working under them that are smarter people that dress better, people that are better than them in certain ways. Now, gents, if you're enjoying today's video, do me a favor. Smash that like button and let Louis XIV, aka Google, know that you guys want to see more videos like this. You're enjoying the videos and it helps the videos do better. Now, in an ideal world, you'd have a genius boss like me who loves to have smarter people working for him, people that can do things better because that was the whole purpose of me hiring them. By the way, Dane, Gavin, Yuri, Jane, Jamie, you guys are awesome. But seriously though, gents, what you need to remember is the person you're working for is a human being and they've got emotions, they've got feelings and you want to make sure that you are communicating clearly with them and that no resentment is building up because that is what is going to kill the relationship. When one person feels something, the other one doesn't sense it, doesn't address it and they don't find a way to work it out, all of a sudden, communication breaks down, the relationship breaks down. And let's take another classic example. We look at Galileo and his relationship with the Medici family. Now, history is told, I mean, Galileo, his works have, have lived on. The Medici family, most of you guys have never even heard of them. But here's the thing. Is he always maintained a very strong relationship with them in the sense of, hey, you are my patrons and he made them look great and they elevated him up because here's the thing, right now you may be smarter than your boss. You may know that I'm going to go on to achieve greatness and go far beyond but right now you are working for that person and what you want to make sure you're doing is making them look great, making their life easier. If you're doing that, you are always going to be gainfully employed. You're going to be the last person that that person, that they want to let go because you make their life easier and eventually, you'll be able, if you want, go off and start your own deal. 
Now, all that being said, let's address your situation specifically. You manage 75 people. You're in an office setting and you've established that this is your uniform. This is your look. I would say that you're doing just fine and you shouldn't worry about, in fact, you should have the courage to be the best dressed man in the room. In fact, make sure that you convey to your bosses maybe, hey, why I dress the way I do and it may be something that across the board, we may at some point as we grow, we become greater, maybe look at a basic dress code because we may have customers coming in. If you work in a sales position, maybe it is you are going to be facing customers, talking with them on Zoom meetings. You understand the power of presentation. I think it's important that you convey this to the people people that you work with, the people that are above you and how this can lead to more money, more sales and in fact, you want to take the initiative to create this professional company that they're going to love, help develop the culture as they see fit and that's key is make sure that you're communicating with them what you're going to be doing because it's not your company but at the same time, it is something that you've got ownership of your position, you have ownership of your section of seeing that your 75 people are growing, are achieving their best, are able to do more, knowing you know, I've talked about the psychology of style, how when you wear certain clothing, it actually makes you perform better, feel better. And again, if somebody is in a customer facing position, they're going to be able to sell more and be more competent in the eyes of the people they're engaging with. All right, gents, I know you got an opinion. I want to hear from you down below. Agree, disagree. Can you ever outdress your boss? Do you have a story of when you did outdress your boss? Was it good, bad? Guys, I want to hear from you down below in the comments. So, if your job calls for it, if it's going to make you better at what you you do, I see no problem outdressing your boss. But keep those lines of communication clear. Make sure that they understand why you're doing what you do, that you love this part and that you want to help them succeed. You want to see the company do its best and when you do this, you're going to have no issue because you're keeping those lines of communication clear and clean. So, what video to watch next? How about this one right here? Is this stolen valor? If you're wearing this clothing, are you going to get some guy in the military that served? Is he going to kick your backside? Well, find out in this video. I give you everything you need to do so that you don't make this critical mistake. You're still there?